Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss how to get the lamp environment set. That means what we are looking for is Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. These are the four basic requirements that you need for your web development or Drupal or PHP based development. So these are the four basic requirements out of which Linux is already installed. And if you are using Debian, Ubuntu, Mint, basically uh, systems which are based on Debian, you can run these set of commands to install Apache, the web server, MySQL or MariaDB as your database engine and PHP as the scripting language, uh, server side scripting language that is required for primarily for Drupal and WordPress. So you could install all these things individually, but there is a shortcut way which we are going to demonstrate in this particular one. So what you should be ready with is your terminal should be open and uh, we need to run the following set of commands and we will be installing few uh, packages with that. So the first thing is we will update the repository. So Linux basically is associated with repositories which have a lot of softwares. So each and every software is not installed. Whatever is required that will be fetched from the net and it will be installed. So the first thing is we will update our repositories. So the command is apt and we need to run the command as admin. So either you can log in as root or if you are on uh, Ubuntu or Debian or something where sudo is enabled, you could say sudo instead of logging in as root. So just say sudo apt and update. So this will just update our repositories so that we get the latest packages. So here our repositories are updated. After this, we need to install certain packages. Okay. So now what we need to install is these uh, set of packages, software properties common. This helps us manage the set of packages that are required. So we don't need to go in for things individually. App to transport HTTPS allows us to allows app to download packages over HTTPS. Wget is again a tool for downloading things. CA certificates are required for HTTPS and GNU PHG too, etc. So let's get them installed. Now with these packages installed, next what we are going to do is install the Apache MySQL PHP with a common name which now we can use with sudo app like you could have said install apache 2 etc like this in instead of individually installing them what we are going to do is install lamp dash server and carrot this is what you have to give and this will fetch the required packages from the server for Apache, MySQL and PHP. So now our basic uh, installation of the packages are done and the web server would be running, MySQL would be running. So the first thing we will check if our web server is working or not. And the simple way to do is you open your web browser and just point into localhost so if the web server is working then we should be getting some page so we are getting the default page for the web server which indicates this is now working properly next thing that we want to try out is whether php is working or not so what we will do is we will simply go to the document root in this case, the document root is where www slash html and here we will create a test PHP file. So this is to be accessed by admin right now. So we will do sudo nano is a text editor and test dot PHP and we'll write a small PHP code into this. And this is a function which displays information about PHP 
and we will save this file okay so this is the content and let's exit this now let's go back to our browser again and over here we will now say test.php so if php is working we should get some output so here it is telling us about what version of php and all is and that is great that php is working so now two things to uh, that are required apache and php are working and that makes our work easier next thing that we want to check is whether mysql is working or not so you could simply type uh, sudo and mysql and see if you get connected so if you get connected that means mysql is working but we will not use it immediately like this because it could be a security risk so whenever mysql or mariadb is installed we will be running a script which will secure our mysql installation and also set the root password root is another user inside mysql fine that is the administrator so it should be secure so we will say uh, sudo mysql sec secure installation we'll run this uh, program this is a script which does few things so it says validate password component this is a way of basically saying that we should use complicated passwords difficult to guess passwords but on a local machine i'm going to say no for this but on a real life server this should be a surely a yes so we will uh, say any other key for no so we will say no now it is asking me uh, to set the root password as i said this is not the root of linux user this is the root password for mysql administrator so set a password and don't forget it uh, keep in mind it will not show stars coming up so just simply type and press enter so uh, it is not showing up so it says failed error set password has no significance for root at localhost as the authentication method does not store password so okay this is a very interesting issue which indicates that our authentication method for the root user is different so we will have to log in and set the password in a different manner okay so let's cancel this and we will start with the other method by uh, since right now we can log in as root without the password we will change the authentication method for password okay so since we face that problem what we are going to do now is we will do uh, sudo mysql and this will connect us to the mysql because i have the administrative rights on the system itself now over here what we are going to do is we are going to see that how the root user of mysql is being uh, authenticated okay so here we are going to run this particular query which will show us bas uh, basically the users and what kind of authentication uh, plugin and string they are using so here you can see root is using socket authentication and what we need to do is we need to change it to password based authentication so what we are going to do is we are going to run another query which will basically take care of it okay so see here this is the query alter user root at localhost identified with mysql native password and by the password which you want to use so this is a demo machine so i can uh, use this but on a real life server this should be a very good password if you plan to use the standard mechanism like this okay once this is done we have to do is flush privileges this will make sure that this is updated so now if we quit and we try to connect to mysql 
minus u root and minus p over here and if I give the password I should get connected so I'm getting connected now via the password mechanism so this takes care of setting the root user to using the standard password because on the local machine uh, we might need root setup on a real life server you will not need to do these things because the setup is already done and you will have a restricted access to some one or two databases or your your databases itself okay now we will run the securing script again so this does one or two more things so it is asking me for the root password enter password for the root user so it says validate password component as we had decided no so change the password for root press yes so if you want to change this we have already changed it we don't want to change it so let let it be like this only remove anonymous user so there is an anonymous user that allows anyone to connect on your machine to MySQL we don't want that so we will remove that anonymous user and uh, disallow root logins remotely that means if my machine is connected on the network can anyone log in as the administrator of this MySQL server the root user not the Linux root user the root administrator of MySQL via a remote server directly so we don't want that so we will say no we don't want that to be allowed in Linux what can what can be done is you can uh, SSH to the MySQL server or the actual server and then connect to the MySQL remove test database yes we don't want the test database also reload privileges table yes and all done MySQL setup is done now this we will be further using in upcoming sessions whenever you want to use MySQL you can use this root login and the password for your work keep that in mind and one more aspect is that we will not be using the root user and password in our programs PHP programs or Drupal or anything we will be creating users and assigning them with their own databases this will restrict the access of any program to the MySQL server limited to one or two databases that are assigned to a new user that will be created that we will see in an other sessions next thing before we finish off this video is we would also want to install PHP MyAdmin PHP MyAdmin is a web-based interface developed in PHP and it allows us to communicate with the MySQL database server and manage our tables via the web-based interface or simply say through our web browser so sudo apt install php my admin okay this is what we want to install so it says it will take up some space let's get it done okay this is where it wants to configure some database that is to be used with PHP my admin we will say yes it is asking me for MySQL applications password for PHP my admin please provide a password for PHP my admin to register with database server left blank a random password will be given so we will just give it some password and ok Okay, with this PHP MyAdmin is installed and if everything has gone fine, PHP MyAdmin will be available in localhost slash PHP MyAdmin. Okay, let's see. Yes, so PHP MyAdmin is configured and here we are there for login. Later on when you create more users, you can log in as those users, but right now we can try logging in as a root user which we had create uh, which we had updated the password for and let's say go and here we are logged in and with this interface we can do a lot of PA, mysql work much more easily
even on the real life servers you will get access to phpMyAdmin interface and it's much easier to work with this also okay so once you are done make sure you log out of this and with this our uh, basic setup is now ready for any kind of development working with Drupal, WordPress or PHP itself.